Hey everyone. In Philippians 2, um, Paul talks about us working out our salvation with fear and trembling. It says in verses, or just verse 12 of Philippians 2, Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but how much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And that's the, word, that's the verse that came to mind today when I was reading Romans 3. Paul introduces two laws at play. And he makes the same point in Romans 8 using different, different words. In Romans 3, 19 and 20, it says, now we, have, now we know that whatever the law says, it says to those that are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, no flesh will be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. And verse 27 says, Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? No, but by the law of faith. So here we have the law of Moses and the law of faith, clearly illustrated in those two sets of verses. Now in Romans 8, 2, it says, For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus made me free from the law of sin and death. Here we have the law of the Spirit and the law of sin and death. And this is where the rubber meets the road. Here's what we need, where we, where we need to work out our faith or our salvation with fear and trembling. We are all under one of two laws. If we are, have not surrendered our life to Jesus Christ in faith, we are under the law of Moses. We are under the law of the Ten Commandments, which will condemn us on the day of judgment. Because clearly by God's standards, we are guilty. And a guilty verdict in this case is eternity in hell. Okay, on the other hand, if we are under the law of faith, having surrendered our life to Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior through faith in Him and His finished work on the cross, you will be saved from the wrath to come and spend eternity with Him in heaven. So have you worked out your faith or your salvation with fear and trembling before your Creator? Or are you still under the law of sin and death? Because sin and death is the only future for the unrepentant sinner, as indicated in Romans 8.13. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. God bless you all. We'll see you.